Just, just now, right? So we're recording this on Thursday, right? Okay. Just now, the game is on in the background. Uh huh. Right? Yeah. They just played the Colin Kaepernick commercial. Commercial. After, like, this is during the first NFL game of the season. Ooh. That was boss life. That's gangster. Yeah. Rah. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so if you don't know, um, uh, Nike uh, picked uh, Colin Kaepernick as the face of their 30th Just Do It campaign. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, people are up in arms. Up in arms. People are burning their Nike products and things like that. Yeah. Stuff that they already paid for. Niggas ain't burning Jordans, but go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But uh, I thought it was dope. You know, so it's it's a lot of layers that go into this, but I thought initially, that's dope. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't have to be a broke activist. You know what I'm saying? Even though apparently some of his money is going back to uh, one of his his charity. Mm-hmm. Um, um, my right, one he, of the writers on Urban X wrote about it on Urban X and NYC. So he's he's, he's very point. charitable. He yeah. is very charitable. I will say that. So yeah, again, I thought it was dope. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he he doesn't have to be broke. However, I don't. I just caution people to you know tuck their woke cards in just because they got on a pair of Nike sneakers. I just right, caution right. that. But I think it's <laughs> I think it's interesting. Uh, yeah, that's it. Let me know when it's my turn. Go ahead. All right. And this is Black Dot, and the words expressed here is solely mine. Good. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to start with that. All right? I don't give a fuck about Nike. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. But for the sake of conversation, let's have one. Mm -hmm. All right? Um, I have never equated revolution and corporation in the same sentence. Right. Okay. Right? So now we have a quagmire on our hands. Yeah. Right? But I will say this, you better be corked up today if you're a revolutionary. Whatever you're doing, corporations run this bitch. Yeah. All right, let me go back all the way back to like public enemy, okay. right? And they had the fight the power movement, the most, the most powerful hip hop group of all time as far as I'm concerned. But when I went to their concerts, it was a bunch of white people there. Mm. You know what I mean? And it kind of... They were softening the blow of the message. I understood the marketing behind it because you had Beastie Boys and Run DMC. And to the far right, you had Public Enemy. To the far left, you had Beastie Boys. And Run DMC was the middle ground. All right? So, but who was sponsoring the message? Def Jam. Def Jam is a corporation. So, understanding that corporations have always played some kind of role in how we do things. They have found the unique way to market your life, every part of your life now is owned by some corporation or some corporation will benefit from it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Muhammad Ali was totally broke. No corporations were sponsoring him. He was asked out on his own fighting the cause against America, not a football team. So please stop associating Colin Kaepernick with Muhammad Ali. Let's start there. Give Muhammad Ali his due diligence because when we talk about sacrifice, which is in the name of this ad, right. it's hard for me to think you can sacrifice when you're sitting on 40 fucking million dollars or whatever it is that you're sitting on. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, say I'm sacrificing the bitch. We got that money in the bank. We, okay, as long as we got 30 million in the bank, and I don't give a fuck what they do to us. We're going to be good. You see what I'm saying? Right. So, granted, Callan Kaepernick is giving monies to uh, uh, to. Mm -hmm. or corporations, I mean organizations and, yeah. and charities, so I don't want to take that away. But if if my safety net is I'm st I still got 20 million somewhere, it's easy for me to perpetuate things that are not what they, you know, really right. are. Muhammad Ali didn't have that comfort mm -hmm. zone, you know what I mean? Now with that being said, Nike has a history of doing this. When Kobe, uh, you know, was, was with the when Kobe butt fucked the girl from okay. the trailer park, okay? Let's just keep it raw, okay. right? She was ugly, too. God, jeez, mm. Kobe. God damn it. Mm. Anyway, right? Nike didn't leave. Other companies left. Right. Nike was like, nah, we good. We're going to hold on to that. You know what I'm saying? I, Nike, they, they see the big picture. They see the big picture. Yeah. Right? When uh, Tiger Woods went through his shit. Yeah. All of them other companies left. Wheaties, all that. Wheaties and all that shit. Nike was good. When Charles Barkley, because Kyle and Hurd even broke that down, Charles Barkley, when he did that, I am not a role model, which was a very polarizing Nike commercial at the time. Right. I am not a role model. Parents should be role models. People were up in arms. Nike held that. You know what I'm saying? So we have to understand Nike sees 
the big picture of this. So now, and Nike's into mythological characters. Tiger Woods. Serena. Serena with the catsuit yeah. shit, right? Mm -hmm. Kobe Bryant, the Black Mamba, right? LeBron James, LeBron James. And now Colin Kaepernick, who wears number seven, and we know that seven is for G-O-D. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's what also made me weirded out when I'm seeing God take a kneel. Mm -hmm. So that, all that stuff kind of just weirds me out a little bit. But with that being said, you know what I mean? Um, at the end of the day, Nike's still going to make their money irregardless. For those white people, white people who are protesting this by burning your little fucking corny Nikes that you <laughs> bought for $9 and shit. But y'all didn't do that when your man uh, with the sandwich company, uh, Subway. Jared. Jared was butt fucking little boys. Y'all kept buying sandwiches. Right. right? All they had to do was just take his commercials down. Just take his fucking commercials down, yeah. right? Chick-fil-A, which I haven't had yet. I had like, once. That Chick-fil-A shit is real. It's, 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 it's amazing. It's amazing, yeah. right? Little buttery biscuits and shit with syrup on them. It's right, incredible. so now. <laughs> but at the moment, I am a, I am a vegan. Say facts. Four months. Facts. Yeah, you know, I do that from time to time. But if motherfucker come in here with one of Chick-fil-A sandwiches, <laughs> the deal is over. Especially if that shit is hot. Mm. So now, with that being said, Chick-fil-A has got an anti-gay stance. They don't believe, they, they oh, ain't yeah, they, with they, all they, that they really, gay shit. They're really uh, religious. They're very religious. They yeah. don't open on Sundays. They ain't with that gay shit. They follow the Bible as it was currently written. Your man, Papa John's. All right. Right? Said the N-word. Niggas better stop fucking up, yeah. kneeling, and fucking up the money. He out. I don't see nobody stop eating the yeah. pizza. So you're looking hypocritical. Yeah. And the fact that you would burn sneakers, but you won't take on the causes that cause us to take a kneel or in the first place. if you have such a thing with the veterans and... Give your sneakers to one of them. Absolutely. Give veterans get treated terrible in this country. <clears throat> and let's... Let's, like... Let's skim over the fact that these sneakers are made for 20 cents. Right. Two cents. I was going there, too. At right? That. So, you're protesting against some shit, but you're not protesting the making of these sneakers. Where these country, 80% women are the ones who are making these sneakers, and I told you before, you can't even commit suicide now. You used to jump out the window, fuck it, now they got the net. Boop, your ass fall in the net. Ming Lee, you got 20 minutes, bring your ass back up right. here and start making these fucking sneakers, right? right? So we know there's hypocrisy on so many levels of what it is we're talking so about. You have to pick and choose. And we have become, <coughs> as we said a couple of weeks ago, yeah. selective boycotters, yeah. selective choosing. And, and, and it's the whole system. We Listen, I'm going to say it again. If you ain't corked up, because it's now it's not Kaepernick against the NFL. It's, it's Nike, Nike against the NFL. NFL. But, and Nike... Um, supplies the NFL. And Nike supplies the NFL. It ain't Joe Buttons against Eminem. It's Revolt against Interscope. Mm. See, this is all corporations mm. now, right. and, and there's a lot to lose. And if your team ain't corked up, yeah. even in your revolutionary stance now, and I know that's going to be crazy for me to say, but look, the ones, the movers and shakers are backed by some <clears> corporation. <throat> And if you are not in this day and time, then you're operating on an old paradigm. You have to be corked up to really make some kind of input. And your, your corporation has got to believe in your movement. See, before we used to be like, yo, they, they you know, I went to protests, the government, and right. the niggas was giving our jobs. And fuck it, I filled that application. Now I'm backing you up. Calm down, yeah. calm down. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And it, it, it's like they have, Nike in particular, all of these companies... Right? Yeezy with yeah, Adidas. Adidas. Uh, uh, Jay-Z is with Puma. So you see, they have recognized who we are. So we got to be very careful because now they control the tempo. They control the stream of energy that used to be just raw, chaotic energy. Yeah. So we got to be careful with this Nike shit. And unless you got some Nike stock... Which I don't. You know what's crazy? People were using that as a case because the Nike stock had dropped 2.5% yeah, that day. Did but Nike look worried? Adidas dropped that day. 
2.5 percent. Puma dropped that day. Three percent. Uh, I think uh, they it, all dropped. They all dropped that day. They all dropped that day. You know, you know what, what I mean? So, so but look, look, look at everything Nike has been through. It stands for the winged god or something. You know, the right. Nike symbol and shit. Um, Nike's been through a lot, and they they stay the course. Right. They understand paradigm shifts. So this whole woke community, as Red Pill or I'm sorry, Blue Pill said is a $44 billion industry yeah. now. And, and Sephora, I don't know if you saw that. They're selling like vo- uh, they witchcraft? They're selling a, 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 a witchcraft kit, kit yeah. with a, 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 a sage and yeah. like some stones and some... So you know now, once they begin to commercialize your magic, it begins to temper your magic and you think this shit is a joke. So we got to be careful and understand what's going on. But Nike is about iconic figures. And everything that those iconic figures go through, Nike weathers the storm yeah. and Nike continues to win. So I wear sketches. So I, I'm just saying <laughs> for the Nike people out there, don't go out and start buying a whole bunch of Nike unless you got some stock. So this whole cabinet uh, 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 situation yeah. and, uh, you know, I, I, he, he's a brother. I mean, his afro ain't got that. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's it's looking. His it's, shit got a little wavy nah, to it. Like nah, I don't know if he's you know full black power. Nah, I, I don't know if he got the Jesse Jackson, Angela Davis nah, his, shit. His afro is looking a little. Cause I was looking at his afro. See, that's the true test. If yeah. your shit stand up like niggas kill Whitey, you know, then you go, oh, this nigga's like yeah. a throwback from the his afro is true. His shit is a little. Nah, his frozen. Dude, frozen. his shit, shit, nigga, when the wind blow, that shit was kind of. <laughs> Like he he blew that shit out with a with a uh, straightening comb, like a yeah. a blow dryer yeah. or some. Shit. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. But I'm not gonna get into all that if he's black shit because yeah. then the list to get crazy of who we support that is black yeah. and not black. So I want to support his movement for what he's doing. I, I'm not with taking the knee shit. I already yeah. told you. But all the money that he's given, if he is truly uh, uh, you know aligning himself to give up some money, then that's great. But do not associate him yeah. with the sacrifice because sacrifice means to me um i'm willing to give it give it all up he gave, you know up, his, I mean? he gave up his livelihood dude he lost his starting job before he started this shit huh? did he lose his starting yeah, job? yeah he did he did he lost because he was playing like shit dude go back and watch it okay. right then when he didn't renew his contract and then he went into some other shit let's just call it for what it is and he had a lot of free time as a backup quarterback. You know, you know what? I'm not fucking playing. You know, what? I'm, I'm just going to take a knee. Why is this nigga over here taking a knee? And side note, don't do that shit at Burger King if you work in there and you want to make a you know, statement. Don't do it. They will fire your ass. All right? So let's just uh, keep that moving. But shout out to him. And whatever his movement is going to bring. But black people, let's not be so gullible and just be following shit like... You living vicariously through this man. Remember, Make action on your own, please. Remember when uh, you said uh, Laval Ball had us in the second place? Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so the uh, um, Zach Zachary Ramey, he's the one that wrote the article on Urban X and NYC. He says Colin Kaepernick has us like this whole situation has us in the second Dude, place. Dude, because what we're doing is we're sitting back at home living our lives. Right. And we're just hitting our fingers, trying to give him energy to go out and do that shit. Do you do that shit? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? While I'm home chilling and yeah. shit. So we, you know, we, this whole corporation uh, uh, make the activists. I told you they don't need to control millions. One who has control yeah. over millions, and you feel good about yourself because this man is out here taking a beating and taking a knee, and you've got off your ass and done exactly nothing. And guess who wins? The Matrix, the simulation has got this shit figured out. Right. Let these niggas follow this nigga and let him stand for something because we need that shit, but you never physically get up to just go into your community and do small things. Right. You know, I'm always talking about the small things we can do to move us along. And yeah, he too has us. In a, he ain't got me in a sunken place, but he got a lot yeah. of people in, in, in a sunken place. And I think I did his name too. I did his name, Colin uh, Kaepernick, and the number came up to 146. And some of the words that were connected to 146 were Leonardo da Vinci. Mm. Da Vinci code. You know what I'm saying? Maybe something's going on there. Bloody sacrifice uh. financial crisis and meet in the middle so maybe he will be 
the arbitration between the NFL and, you know, mm. I don't know. Those are just some of the keywords the, that came out full sentences with 146 as a vibration for him. His, just want to um, throw that out there. The, the NFL, like the, the collusion, the like NFL collusion case, that's going to go to trial now. Exactly. So, so, but now he got a machine behind yeah. him. See what I'm saying? So see how that works? Yeah. And Nike never left him. Yeah. That, that's yeah. the thing about it. It was not like Nike dropped him. So this is what I mean by... Uh, today's activism has a little asterisk near it because it's like, yeah, I still got 35 million in the can, yeah. so I can come out and say, fuck all y'all. You know what I mean? So it's important that we, we, we take note. Peace. This is The Black Dot, author of the underground classic Hip Hop Decoded and Urban Culture Decoded. For 15 years, I've been decoding hip hop, breaking it down, giving you it piece by piece, the DNA of hip hop, all of its multifaceted components. For the next 15 years, I want you to join me as I give you hip hop recoded and we put it back together, giving you its RNA so that we don't leave the next generation lost. But I have to give you a disclaimer. I am not a hip hop guru. This is not hip hop law. This is for pure entertainment purposes only. I am not a doctor. So before you take the red pill and go with us into the matrix of hip hop, consult your doctor to see if hip hop recoded is for you. With that being said, we thank you for your patronage and we see you on the other side. Peace.